I think that was the one point where it's just like, I just, I, <laughs> I can't share excitement about something without someone bitching. And I hate that. Because games aren't like that. It's fun to talk about games so long as you're not an asshole. I think that's the main thing for everyone to take away. For for everyone that's kind of nodding off listening to this, um, the one thing is, the one thing to remember, the one thing that you should remember, uh, let's not jump into the cra- you almost did it again! Look at Pierce over there, it's like, did you almost do it again? Alright, investigate the Corps de Medicale. Medicale. Do it as Quasimodo and Feeble. Feeble. Phoebus. <laughs> feeble. Hey, Feeble! Don't call me that. <laughs> Alright. What am I investigating? Right, I guess I just. Oh, bingo! It's the creepy dude. It's the guy with the glasses. Alright. Careful. Okay, that. What is that guy doing? <laughs> is he playing with something? It's like, oh, this is a dinosaur, and this is a princess. Oh, I'm gonna eat you, dinosaur. No, or eat you, princess. No, don't eat me, dinosaur. You're so handsome and beautiful. Oh, I didn't know you felt that way about me. And the guy behind him is like, what the fuck are you doing? What is a dinosaur? Look it on the floor. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Alright, okay. Okay, <laughs> calm down. Actually, I could probably get through using cover. Uh, spot cover. Oh. Okay, sorry. Uh, stayed silent because I was about to shit my pants. <laughs> that is the cool thing, though, is that when someone spots you, they'll uh, and you go into a, cl a crowd to, bend, to blend, they'll actually pick you out of it, and that's actually pretty cool. And there was one thing when this game was still being advertised, uh, where uh, where they said uh, uh, guards will go up to random civilians and they'll ask about your last position, and. Uh, God, d Jesus! Oh, this is when my favorite character shows up. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, so, dude, it's him. Anyway, uh, so, uh, when uh, you know that thing, and when I first started playing the game, it was like they don't, they don't, they just don't. They're just like, oh, dead guy. All right, see ya. But there was actually a couple times where I hid in a crowd after running it for a fucking long time. I saw a couple guards actually go up to a, a group of civilians and they and they just like pushed them around. And then the civilians pointed at me and then I got alerted again. <laughs> it's like, all right, that's impressive, but I'm still pissed. Anyway, this is my favorite character. This is my favorite side character in every Assassin's Creed game ever. That's not a joke. And follow the rats back to their king. Ooh. It's because this guy has a very suave thing to him. He's also got a great sense of humor. There goes the leg. Proper cauterization? Just take the flint. What What constitutes this proper? Do you have to have someone watching over it, or you can just throw him in the campfire? Who are you, precisely? I'm pretty sure that would make more problems than just cauterization, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, this is a guy that was naked in the cell earlier, so... You can tell that this guy has a colorful, colorful, uh, dialogue. And I, have a vested interest in seeing I love the writing in this game, especially the acting. The voice acting and the writing do complement each other very well. Even though it is delivered in a British accent, uh, the lines are still delivered very well. I like that. Donatien Alphonse Francois Marquis de Sade. I love the way he says that. I just like this guy in general. He hardly shows up, though. After this, this guy just vanishes. Well, after this mission, rather. He just fucking books. And I hate that, but I love it. There's actually a lot of great characters in this game, but they just don't get a lot of the limelight. Which sucks. Jesus Is he dead? I think he's dead. <laughs> Okay. 
Who are you? And what are you back to me? Up, Stacy. Ah, so good. There we go. I, I'm pretty good with the Phantom Blade, dude. You know, I'm just, I'm just so skilled at the Phantom Blade. I use it all the time. Get a little closer. And dude, that was right in the heart. You give love a bad name. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm not even sure if I'm close enough to the mic or not. I'm just, you know what? I'm just, I'm just happy. I'm just. I'm comfortable-ish. I'm still slouching. This is just my gaming position, so... <laughs> the game position! I've assumed the game position. Get ready for shit to be fucked up. Mostly, mostly on my end, because I'm still a shitty player. I don't know why I slipped into a British accent. It's because I'm playing AC Unity. Uh, everybody wants to rule the world. Boom, boom, bam, ba, da, ba, da, ba. Sorry. <laughs> uh, where's this guy going? He's been going in a circle. Fancy a drink later. Do I know you? Do I know you? <laughs> what the? He just got rejected. Do you fancy a drink? You fancy a drink later? All right. First of all, you're talking in an Irish accent. That's why I'm asking if you want a drink, laddie. Where's that Scottish? No, Irish is more of this. Damn it. It's one of those places that the game slows down and Arno doesn't climb for some reason. It's bizarre. Ooh, this guy is going in the weirdest circles. One thing I don't like is that the, uh, the mark, uh, whenever you do the eagle sense, uh... And then it marks the enemy, but it does it for a short time because AC4 uh, kept it on, and it was, and it's kind of annoying to reactivate Eagle Sense. I mean, I know why they did it. It's just it's just you know observation. Yeah, I don't need to do whole observation. I already wrote a review for this game. It shot it 4G. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. Despite its technical limitations, I feel like it's a solid entry in the Assassin's Creed series. I didn't say that in the. Review, but someone told me that their favorite AC4, AC4, and that's that's the weird thing is because oh oh oh, oh I'm not here oh sorry <laughs> I get a little excited um yeah I did uh excuse me I should probably move away from the mic whenever I snort but oh well. Something doesn't feel right. He's dead, sir. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Something doesn't feel right. Maybe because he's dead? He's what? Oh, alright. Toss him out. Something else is wrong, though. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, Someone told me recently that their favorite AC4, and that's the weird thing, is because AC Unity, I'm not gonna lie, AC Unity's technical limitations are a problem. They are a significant problem. But... Uh, despite that, I I have a lot of fun with the game, so I feel like there's still some merit there. Um, and that's the weird thing, is because despite, if AC Unity ran uh, as well as it should have, uh, th again, this isn't really just me complaining, it's just, you know, it's critical observation, critical analysis, if you will. Stop looking at me, dude! Go away. Anyway, back to what I was saying. If AC Unity didn't have its technical limitations, this is my own opinion. I feel like it would have been the best AC Unity, the best Assassin's Creed game, because literally everything else is so overhauled and so perfected that I'm actually really excited for Victory because uh, since Victory is going to have, and I assume it's going to be made off the off the same uh, off the same template as Unity, uh, just for the sake of saving time, but. Uh, well, then again, they said that they were working on Victory for a long time, so maybe not. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, sorry, my brain went dead. I tried to do. I was trying to speak two different topics, and just like neither. All right, I need to get inside. 
But how? Okay, I believe there's a window somewhere in here. Okay, anyone fucking around? Okay. Okay, uh... I thought there was a window around here. I guess not. Uh... Let's... F All right, I guess not. Oh, oh. No? Okay. <laughs> See ya. I, I, okay. Shit! No! You saw nothing! <laughs> what are you doing over there? You saw nothing! Psst. 